all new on The Doctors. Well, today we're talking about how well does the inside of your body measure up. That's what we're covering throughout the show. And right now we have cardiologist Dr. John Kennedy back in the procedure room. He's with Sarah, who's wearing what's called a cardiac event monitor. And Dr. Kennedy, why is Sarah wearing that monitor? Yeah, so Travis, Sarah has a, a really common problem, as you know, uh, palpitations. And palpitations are caused by an irritable electrical system. And when we're trying to make the diagnosis of, of, of you know, what are causing the palpitations, we typically use a, a monitor called a Holter monitor. And the Holter monitor is great if you have symptoms in 24 hours, but as Sarah will attest, sometimes we, we don't get symptoms in this 24-hour period. And so we move to a more accurate device, which is patient-activated, and the event monitor, it's this simple little device, and when Sarah's actually having symptoms, she holds it up to her chest, presses it to her chest, and then she presses this button. That then is transmitted to my office, and I can actually see what's going on with her heart when she's having symptoms. And I want to point out to everyone watching that right now, Sarah, you have the electrodes hooked up. You can't see it. That's why we call it a 24-hour event monitor, because you may be having palpitations, but you don't want to sit there in the hospital for 24 hours right. hooked up to Wait a big monitor. To so you can go about your daily activities, right, Sarah? Absolutely. Just carry it with me. Does everybody so know this is, what palpitations are? Well, we're That's going to talk about palpitations fluttering. a little bit later. But okay. you're right. It's that sensation that your heart is skipping, skipping a, beat, a beat. It's going fast. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And palpitations can be the sign of something serious. So later in the show, we're going to show Sarah her up-to-the-minute heart monitor result. How does your body measure up, specifically your heart? Well, back with us is cardiologist Dr. John Kennedy and his patient Sarah, who says she's been experiencing an irregular heartbeat, something we call palpitations. So Sarah, describe to everyone these palpitation sensations. Um, my heart's racing, and I feel like I can't breathe fast enough to catch up with the heart rate, and I feel a little faint, but I don't actually faint, just kind of lightheaded. And it's scary. Yes. <laughs> Very. And, and what we didn't say is that Sarah does have an underlying condition. That's right. Yeah, she has a, a really common, actually, underlying condition that causes palpitations known as mitral valve prolapse. Walk us through what mitral valve prolapse is in Sarah's yeah. case. Yeah, so I'm going to show you over here on the ultrasound, and this is an ultrasound recording, which is the same technology we use to look at uh, babies um, when women are pregnant. And this is the valve, which is a doorway that connects the top left chamber to the bottom lower chamber of the heart, and it's allowing blood from the lungs to go down through the top chamber into the left chamber, and this is pumped out to your brain and the rest of your body. And as you can see, this valve leaflet is ballooning upward or prolapsing into the top part of the heart. And what can happen with mitral valve prolapse is this leaflet can become really weakened, really tethered, and it can start to leak. And that leaking of blood, which we see in this uh, view here, is what tickles the heart or irritates it and causes our heart to skip beats and all the symptoms that we're seeing uh, Sarah experience. And we have an animation to further describe this. Yeah, now the left side is what, what a normal heart looks like. This is the blue blood coming from all of our tissues. It's being pumped off into the lungs. It's getting oxygenated. And then it's collected in this left upper chamber called the left atrium. It goes down through the saloon doors into the left ventricle, and then it gets pumped out to the brain and the rest of our body. And if you come over to the right, you'll see the same process coming through the right side to the left, collecting in the left atrium, and you can see as the leaflets close, they balloon upward, which is the prolapse, and as it stretches, as that leaflet stretches, it doesn't close correctly, and the blood then leaks back where it regurgitates into the left upper chamber. And that extra volume of blood can tickle or irritate the heart and cause skip beats, palpitations, and a lot of the symptoms that Sarah's experiencing. And that's a great explanation, because in the end, your cardiovascular system, it's a plumbing system with that prolapse, Things are going in the wrong direction. You can get the heart tickled. So the one thing I want to highlight, because a lot of folks get these palpitations. I see people in the ER all the time. And they may not have the palpitations when they come. They may say, oh, I had them for 
10 minutes, but now they're gone. That's where this monitoring comes into play. And I love the fact that you wore one for how long? I wore one for 24 hours straight, and then I had another that when I felt something coming on, I would apply to my chest and, and record. And what were the results? Sarah, luckily, uh, I'm happy to say that she had, when she was having symptoms, she had what's called sinus tachycardia, which is a normal body response to stress. And so what I can tell you is try to avoid caffeinated beverages, try to get a lot of rest, try to do things that relax you, do a yoga class, chill out, do something that really helps you relax or read a book. Um, but that's something that most people can do and can really lower your, your, your symptoms. Just remember, a palpitation is a symptom the reason we put you on the monitor is we're looking for an irregular heart rhythm. That's the actual illness. And your doctor can talk to you if you're having palpitations about getting a heart monitor. Coming up, my doctor's orders.